Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Jamin. And today is the video that I promised all you guys that I was going to do. Uh, it's time to do it. So without further ado, because this is going to be a long video. So I hope you guys have time. But I'm about to go over my sneaker collection. I'm going to be telling you which ones I'm going to keep. Which ones I'm going to sit on. And which ones I'm going to get rid of and flip. Alright, so without further ado, let's get to it. Now, <clears throat> the first thing that I want to show you guys is how I'm going to come up with the prices for the shoes that I plan on flipping or selling. So <clears throat> I'm not going to go over the prices of the shoes of this video. If I say I'm going to flip a pair and you want the pair of shoes that I'm going to flip, what you need to do is follow me on Instagram. It's Jamon, J-A-M-O-N underscore 17. Also follow my other site on Instagram, Moab underscore the brand. That's Moab, M-O-A-B underscore the brand moab the brand all right now <clears throat> because i'm not going to go over the prices i don't have time i'm going to tell you guys where i'm going to get the prices for from for the shoes that i plan on flipping today and that's going to be stock x okay so what you guys need to do is if i say i'm going to flip the shoe download stock x if you haven't already Okay, because that's that's what I'm using. I'm not using Goat. I'm not using anything else. I'm going to use StockX. Okay, so go to StockX, download it, check out the shoe. Okay, now don't look at this price. Make sure you have the right size. Most of my shoes are going to be at an, uh, anywhere from an 11 to a 12, okay, because that's the sizes I wear. But <clears throat> when you get the StockX, don't use this price here, okay, because that's not what you're going to pay if you buy the shoe use this price here <clears throat> well you can see right here this says 383 but this is also before taxes so taxes on this shoe you'll, you'll see just hit that next button this is my wife's phone old phone she doesn't have an account set up with stock x but the shoe's probably going to come out to about $415 after you add taxes in. You have to hit that next button, but it's not pulling it up. So without further ado, that's how I'm going to be getting my, my shoe prices, okay? So, and they're going to be final prices. I'm not going to do no negotiating, and I don't mean to sound bad in a bad way or nothing like that. But uh, y'all are already going to get a cheaper price than what I'm going to see on StockX. So let's get to it. The first shoe is a Jordan 5 Anthracite, the shoe that I was just showing. This shoe, like I said, you just saw it, it's going for about 400, in between 400 and $415 on StockX. This is a dead stock shoe. This is a size 11 and a half, okay? So <clears throat> again, Jordan 5 Anthracite right here, dead stock, nothing wrong with the shoe, size 11 and a half. That is a flip. These are going to be for sale, the anthracites. So leading off with a flip. Next up, Jordan 5, another Jordan 5. Fire red, okay? You got the fire red right here. This is dead stock also in 11 and a half. This is going to be a keep for me, okay? So I'm keeping the fire red. Like I said, this isn't just a sale video. I've never did a... a uh, well, I have. It's just when I had a lot smaller collection. But uh, this is going to be kind of for you sneakerheads out there, too, just to see what kind of shoes I got. So these, I just did a review on these guys. These are the Happy Pineapples. Air Max 95. Very nice shoe. Have not worn them yet. I didn't take them down to Florida with me like I planned on doing because I took a couple other shoes I'm going to get to in a minute. But I need to undes these guys. These are still dead stock. But very nice shoe. These are a keep. Next shoe up. The BB Adapt. These are the self-lacing joints right here. Alright. Nice leather. Love the leather on these shoes. But yeah, these are the Oreo. The white Oreo. Or white cement. BB Adapts. Still dead stock. Haven't worn these guys either. These are a keep. Not getting rid of those. So, so far, we got the Anthracites flip other three keep jordan 34 bread colorway all right size 11 and a half oh i'm sorry these are 11 and a half well that's a 12 because air max 95 i wear a 12 that's an 11 and a half 
that's an 11 and a half. These guys right here are an 11 and a half. I think, hold on, let's look. Give me a second. Where's the tag at? Yes, 11 and a half. So they are used, but used lightly. And some gum right there. If I can get that out with this. If you guys ever want to know what to use to clean your shoes, get your shoes looking nice, it's Rejuvenator. Okay. But anyway, yeah, the 34 Fire Red, barely used. Let's look at the other shoe. I'm going to flip these guys right here. I'm going to flip these. So look at the dead stock price on StockX. And then we'll, this is a shoe we will negotiate on because it's been used and I've worn it. Um, we'll negotiate. Another Jordan 34 right here. Got the blue void colorway. I'm keeping these. I've worn these as well. But I like this colorway. It's got the Miami Vice South Beach vibe to it. So yeah, just overall really nice shoe. And believe it or not, these are really comfortable as well. They've got great... Um, what do you call it this this eclipse plate down here and these zoom pods you see the zoom pods in there really nice shoe all right we got a jordan you jordan uh 14 right here this is your hyper roll i'm keeping these these are super nice the leather is super nice 11 and a half but yeah, beautiful shoe. You see the 14 right there behind the tongue. Just super nice. I like that carbon fiber. I like that metallic paint. Nice shoe. That's a keep. Y'all let me know down in the comments below too as we're going through these shoes. Which ones do you like? What are your favorites out of my collection? Then we're going to come to the Toro 14 model. Dead stock. Very nice shoe right here. Very nice shoe. Still DS. Never worn. As you can see the bottom right there. All right. These I'm going to flip. These are going on the block for a flip. So, 11 and a half, 11 and a half. Flip. Jordan 14 Toro. If you're looking it up on StockX, I'm, the reason I'm telling you these names, that's what it's going to pull up for on StockX. Dang, my arm's getting tired. 95 Freddy Krueger's. European exclusive. Um, never getting rid of these, so I figured I'd show you guys the shoe at least. But yeah, Freddy Krueger, man, 95, beautiful shoe, collector's item in my opinion. And for y'all, for those of y'all that go, hey, you know, I don't see why people collect shoes and whatnot. People are people; they can do what they want to do. If you want to collect shoes and never wear them, collect shoes and never wear them. If you want to rock all your shoes, rock all your shoes. I don't care what you do. Who am I to judge what you do? 95 volts right here the original og 95 all right this is a size 12 too like i said i wear 12s in my 95s this is a keep so look we went over some shoes so far let's go over the flips the anthracites flip the bread 34s flip the toros flip all right now let's go down here to this end we got one of my grails. Definitely not getting rid of this, but I'll show it to you anyway. This is, of course, needs no introduction. The uh, the Kobe Grinch. Got the spare red laces right there. Beautiful shoe, man. Rest in peace to the Mamba. I got them hanging that up in the room. Haven't done it yet. I've had it for a while, but yeah, the Kobe Grinch. So, again... I don't, they, they may not ever be worn, to be honest with you. I mean, when I got them, I, my plan was to wear them, but I don't know. These guys right here, Travis Scott's Jordan 1 Low. These are a keep. I've worn these quite a bit. So, yeah, those are an 11 and a half. But, yeah, awesome shoe. My kids wanted me to put the, the pink laces in them. I'm like, nah, nope. Too old to rock them with the pink but hey there they are right there but uh you know if you want to rock them with the pink laces rock them with the pink laces all right and then we're gonna get to part of the ugly duckling pack the nike dunk 
veneers love this shoe as well very nice material and quality on this shoe this one's ds i have not put this one on foot and y'all are probably like man why you got so many ds shoes where are your shoes again it's hard to when you got all these pairs of shoes man it's hard to like wear everything i don't go enough places to wear everything all right those are a keep by the way most of my dunks will be keeps y'all um the michigan dunk right here definitely keep 11 and a half some of my dunks the regular dunks that i've got like this right here that's not sb i typically get an 11 and a half but i go up a half a size to a 12 when i get to uh if i get an sb or I hit on an sp because of the tongue y'all know the tongues are fat and there's a lot of padding and i don't like my foot to be squished so right here i call them my auburn dunks you got the champs colors 11 and a half um definitely another keep love the materials on these dunks right here the materials between these and these and i did i've talked about this in my videos too completely different getting here to a dunk high you've got the barely green mint green all-star things man dunk highs these are i want to say these are an 11 and a half too let me check for y'all real quick because i'm actually going to do a flip on these guys right here hold on that tag's kind of squished down in there give me a second yep 11 and a half okay so y'all want the y'all want the all-star joints man i love that that looks good it's almost like a it looks like a basketball court but it's like a marbleization or something in the shoe um and then that mint green just looks really good so 11 and a half dunk high all-star flip all right, then I get to my 4th of July's. I just did a video on these too because it was the 4th of July. I'm not selling these, of course. I wear these all the time or every holiday. Um, so, but just in case you want to, any of these shoes, like if you want to look up the value or anything like that or get you a pair, I'm calling out what it is just so you can check it out on StockX or go to whatever you prefer to. But like I said, I'm going to be using the prices for my flips from StockX. So the 2016, I think, is when these came out. Olympics, USA dunk high nice shoe for the holiday at least i wouldn't rock them guys all the time next up on the list this is a definite keep this you can already see the stock x tag on this i actually paid resale for these shoes but i had to have them i love baseball and these remind me of a baseball mitt you got all the stitching up here up top going around the shoe this is the bodega it looks just like a catcher's mitt right there and even got the two-tone leathers this is the Bodega Dunk High. You can just smell it. Even though I've had these for about six months now, I can still smell the leather coming off of these from back here. I mean, this thing right here is pure quality material. Beautiful shoe. Next up on the list. Get your butt back in there. Get in the thing, man. We have the Nike Dunk High Hawaii's. These were some that I was going to whip out down in Florida, but every time we went to go out to eat or do anything like that, um, uh, you do have orange and green laces that come with these as well, but I like the, I like the cream, so I kept them in there. But uh, every time I went to, to break these bad boys out down in Florida, man, a thunderstorm would pop up, and I was like, yeah, I'll just wear some Crocs or something. But love this shoe, love the flower print. This material does come off to reveal, you know, orange here and then like that furry suede green. So it's orange and green. Really cool shoe. Love it. One of my top shoes, to be honest with you, of the year. Just because I like things like that. Keeping. Keeping, by the way. I only flipped so far on the dunks is the All-Stars, okay? So far. This is the Wasted Youth uh, SB Dunk. Right here. Cool shoe. I flipped them out. Well, I flipped them. I uh, swapped out the laces on these and uh, went with white laces. I think that they pop and they look good. But I have worn these quite a few times as well. And, and again, these are a size 12 because, like I was talking about, if you see that tongue, man, SBs, they're so thick and padded. But that's because of skateboarding. But I go ahead and, and, and then you got the, the heels right back there kind of padded. You can see that. But I do go ahead and go up 
a half a size on the SB dumps when I hit on those or when I go after them. Or if I buy them for resale from, you know, one of our local consignment stores. Got the, this is one of my favorite shoes of the year as well. This is the Nike Dunk SB Golf. Super clean shoe. Love the materials on it. The suede is fantastic. But yeah, the Nike Dunk SB Golf. Beautiful shoe. I would highly suggest if you like dunks, this is the one you need to go after. I just love that baby blue. Next up on the pack, that's a keep, is the Undefeated Dunk. I just did a review on these. I did swap the laces out and put the yellow laces in. Very clean shoe. This is the Canteen right here. I was lucky enough to hit on them on the Undefeated site. There's the boxes for both of what I'm about to show you. You can see they're 11 and a half. But there's the Canteen. This is definitely a keep. Then we got the, the Air Force One. You know, this is the Dunk versus the Air Force One pack. 11 and a half. I love, people are sleep, sleeping on these things. I love the colorway on this. This Ballistic Army look. You can see the texture of that leather. Or is that, I don't even know if it's leather. Like, I don't know what kind of material this is. Y'all comment down below if y'all still watching it. But this is a cool shoe. I love the color of it. It's going to go great with some jeans in the fall time. This is a great fall time shoe. So if y'all are sleeping now, I think these are going to go up in value. If you like this shoe, I'd go ahead and buy a pair of them because I think they're going to go up once fall hits. I think it's a beautiful fall shoe. Y'all notice I like earth tone colors. Look at my shoes. Well, the Grinch is just pops, but you know. All right, so let's go down here. We got the Jordan 4 Fire Red, the most classic Jordan of all time. Came out in 1989. Beautiful shoe. Now, this shoe right here actually came out, uh, was it last year? Yeah. But I tripled up on these. So this is a dead stock pair of 11 and a halves. I've got another pair right over there. And then I've got another pair over here somewhere. But anyway, I've got three pairs of these. So I'm actually going to flip a pair, man. I said I wasn't that I was going to keep them. But I think these things may, may rot before I can wear like four pairs of them. Because I've got all these other shoes to wear. So this is a flip. Jordan 4 Fire Red flip action going on all right then we got the ken griffey jr air force ones i just did a review on these too absolutely immaculate shoe right here i mean immaculate they just restocked on these today as well check out soul links they did a restock on these they may already be sold out by the time you're watching this video but they did restock on the air force ones and on the uh the air max 90s so yeah beautiful shoe this is definitely a keeper. Um, love that baseball stitching on the back, too. They did a great job with this shoe. Just talked about these. This is the Air Max 90 Griffies. Another beautiful shoe. Definitely a keeper for me. If you love baseball, this is a shoe to get. And like I said, these did restock. So you may want to go out there and check it out while you can. Uh, but... You know, if you're watching this video, right when I download it, they may still be there. But if you're watching it a few days later, I'm sure they're probably already gone. Next up, you got the, I what are they calling these? I'm going to call them the denims. You may have to do some research on StockX to find what these are actually called. But I'm going to call them the denim. It's the Air Max 90. They may be called the flips or something like that too. But it's a beautiful shoe. Um, again, these are DS as well. Actually, no, I did wear these one time. I did wear these one time, but as you can see, <laughs> they're basically DS. I mean, there's not even any dirt on this thing. So, uh, going to flip these. Going to flip these. So, if you like them, they're a size 11 and a half. Hit me up. Remember, Instagram, IG, Jamin, J-A-M-O-N, underscore 17, and Moab, M-O-A-B, the brand, both on Instagram. These Air Max 90s right here, another exclusive to Europe. This is the Animal Instincts, or no, Endangered Species, New Species, something like that. But if you want to check them out, I think they're called the New Species. But these are fire right here. The materials, y'all get a close, let me get a close up. The material on this shoe is amazing. 
and I haven't done a full review. I need to do a full review on this shoe. That's one of the things too that kept me from doing this video was that a lot of these shoes I haven't even done a review on yet, but and y'all are already seeing it, but it is what it is. I promised you guys I was going to do this video, so I'm doing it. But I, th those green laces look fire in these things, man. Air Max 90. Endangered species, new species, animal instinct. I don't know. Something like that. And then you got the Bacons. These guys ain't going nowhere. But I'll show y'all anyway. Air Max 90 Bacon. Awesome shoe. A lot of people have some quality issues with their shoe. I didn't have none. My shoe is in great condition. The coloring, there's no bleeding, the stitching. I mean, this look, looks great. No issues with the shoe. And it comes with like an abundance of laces. You can't run out of laces if you get these guys. Next up, this is my shoe of the year. This is my shoe of 2021. I was so ecstatic when I hit on these things on the sneakers app. This is the Dunk carpet company the dunk high carpet company collaboration these guys right here are amazing i love how they did the this i've never worn these shoes but look all around the midsole right there it looks like they've been beat up love how they did that vintage look right there love that pop of suede and then this is all screen printed on here so every shoe is different all the graphics on the shoes are different on every shoe and then this stuff right here comes off as you skate in them or, or you wear them or whatever and it has additional graphics underneath it in a yellow leather a yellow leather just a badass shoe right here this is a badass shoe my favorite shoe of 2021 this is a def that's a definite keeper all right now sorry it's what are we in 22 minutes i told y'all this is gonna be kind of a long video What's Tony do too wild? Say, is sit back, grab some snacks, enjoy the snacks, something like that. I don't know. Enjoy something. These are going with me to Biloxi. I'm going to Biloxi today to do a little bit of gambling. I'm going to have these guys on feet. I told y'all this would be my lucky charm. This Jordan 1 Low Spade in an 11 and a half. Fire shoe. Especially for the casinos. I like that back. I like the white and the red right there. That looks really good to me. All right, next up, we have the Undefeated collaboration with Nike on the Air Max 90. The leather quality on these are insane, super soft. Probably one of the softest Air Max 90s that I've ever seen, to be honest with you. I've got the blue pair here as well, but this is the green. I have worn these, as you can see. Um, I wear these during the spring. This is a great springtime shoe. Just the colorway, it's very clean and easy to wear. But yeah, the undefeated uh, Air Max 90. And here's the blue pair. I did swap out my blue pair with the blue laces. I think these guys are fire. I love these shoes. These are going to stay with me. All right. So the Air Max 90 undefeated. All right. What do we got here? We have the Air Max 90 St. Patrick's Day. You got your little shamrocks, four-leaf clovers right there. Nice tongue, green, got that kind of mint green on the toe box. Just a super nice shoe. Got the gold for the pot of gold and the gold inside. Definitely keep a nose. That's a St. Patrick's Day shoe. Next up, we're going to get into some Yeezys. I have Yeezys going down here. Um, if you notice, I, I kind of keep it like this is my dunk section. These are all my Jordans over here. There's, I bled over in the Jordans up there and down here because I'm, I need to get some more containers. But uh, my Yeezys are right here. My Yeezy collection is a little low, but I do have some. These are the Yeezy Earth, the 350s, B2s. Beautiful shoe. And it is a size 11 and a half. I'm going to flip these guys. It's dead stock. Never been worn. But I will flip these. So these are for sale. 11 and a half Yeezy Earth. <clears throat> this shoe right here is not going anywhere. This is, to me, this is one of the most comfortable models of a Yeezy. This is the Yeezy, what is this, a 750? Is this a 750 or 700? 
uh, I think it's a it's a 700. This is a 700. Um, but this I've worn this quite a bit. This thing is comfortable. Do go up a half a size on these because they will fit snug and it's hard to get your foot in. So if you're gonna get these, like me, I wear mostly an 11 and a half. I got a 12 in these. But yeah, I love that this colorway too. It's called the Covalite colorway. Beautiful shoe. Now we're going to get into some bronze. Hey, and I like Space Jam, by the way. For those of y'all that didn't like it, I liked it. Not going to say it was better than the first one. Or, you know, it is what it is. Take it take it with a grain of salt. But this is the LeBron red carpets. This shoe is DS as well. Never worn. This is a size 11. Okay. Beautiful shoe. One of my favorite LeBrons of all time, actually. But you know what? I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it. LeBron red carpet right here, guys. Size 11. Let me know. We having a shoe sale today. I told y'all. Some of these shoes are hard for me to let go, too, because I've had them for a long time. But here's what it is, man. i got to make some room. The Atmos Nike LeBron. I told y'all this was one of my favorite shoes of the year as well. And it is. This one ain't going nowhere. This is definitely a keeper. The LeBron 18 Atmos collaboration on a remake of the old Air Max 1. Or was it Air Max? Yeah, it was Air Max 1. Beautiful shoe. Blazers. I like blazers, y'all. Nike. This is a Nike SB blazer. All right. I'm, I'm going to swap these guys out with these navy blue laces, too. I think that'll look good. Got the double tongue action going on right there. Unfinished. This is a clean shoe, y'all. This is a clean shoe. I like how they got the Nike swoosh removed right here. It would have distressed stitching, and then they put it down here on the toe box. Pretty clean blazer, man, in my opinion. I like it. Then we got another Yeezy, Yeezy 350. This is the semi-frozen yellow. Okay. I have worn this one. I haven't worn the earth, but I have worn this one. I have a couple of yellow shirts that I like to break these out with when it's nice and sunny outside. A lot of people clown on these shoes right here, man. I don't care. I love them. Semi-frozen yellow. Keeper in the collection right there. All right, this is another one that I'm keeping. This is a collaboration with Levi's. This is the Denim Air Max 90. Nice shoe, got the gum outsole. I love gum outsoles. But yeah, nice color blocking on this shoe. So this one's going to be a keeper as well. This one definitely ain't going nowhere either. This is the Sean Weatherspoon right here. You like the corduroy. I've worn these quite a bit as well. These are kind of old, to be honest with you. You can see I've worn the crap out of these but i've had these for a while as well so beautiful shoe not going anywhere staying in the collection sean Wotherspoon air max 97 or 90 what whatever <laughs> this, is, this is getting to be a long video i may have to do two parts i may have to do a part one and a part two i just did a video on these guys this is the clot the clot action on the um on the air max one actually very crazy shoe right here this is a one of those artwork pieces right here but uh i'm keeping them for right now i may let them go in the future but for right now i'm gonna keep those guys yeah i think this is gonna be a two-part video we're at 30 minutes now and uh i still got all this stuff all these over here those that so we're gonna we're gonna keep this to to just this row right here got the air jordan one low um reverse bread or band or whatever you want to call this um this is in a size 12 right here this is dead stock i'm letting these flip letting these fly y'all let me know remember instagram dm me Next up, a controversial shoe right now because of the electro oranges that just came out and everybody's like, oh, orange and black shoes, not a shattered backboard. If you don't have the insole, who cares what you call it? Again, I'm not one of them sneakerheads that gets all pissed off and thinks I know everything and, 
oh god if you, if you don't have this and that to me this is a shattered backboard colorway is it a shattered backboard maybe not but it is the colorway it's the starfish orange and the uh black and white this is jordan one low shattered backboard i'm saying that just to wrinkle the feathers of some of y'all out there that have to be so technical about everything um overall very clean shoe this shoe has skyrocketed up in price too as have the the bread uh black toes right there all right we're getting down here close to the bottom of this row these ain't going nowhere i just got these these are the jordan one neutral grays very clean shoe probably one of the easiest shoe shoes to wear out of my entire collection you can wear this shoe with anything but yeah that one's not going nowhere next up got a jordan 9 university golds very nice shoe i like to pop right there the little speckles and the materials look good i love i like this shoe and i've worn this shoe quite a bit as well as you can see it's got some stuff in the tread but yeah the jordan 9 university gold keeping these oh, shit. i just broke my door off there dropped the shoe on it hold on did i skip a yeah i skipped a whole row all right we're gonna come back down here to the well i'll go ahead and knock this row out you got the indigos okay the indigo 12s nice shoe all this material right here rubs off into a lighter blue as you wear it so this is an eccentric shoe too you can get you something and kind of customize this by rubbing that off very nice shoe i'm hanging on to that for right now uh, i'm not gonna flip not at the moment may do it future state future state i'm talking like i'm at work another jordan 12 this is my favorite jordan 12 of all time the royal blue very nice leather very nice shoe i have worn this one quite a few times as well this one's not ds that was ds by the way uh the indigo but yeah beautiful shoe right here i think these are going for a lot right now too i think these are like up to close to 400 dollars. last time i looked but nice shoe got the zebras right here the 350 v2 zebras i have worn these quite a bit as well these aren't going anywhere um i've kind of worn these out for the most part but uh they're not they're still in good condition so yeah the 350 v2 zebra the zebra guys as mike rich would say he calls everything guys just fine here are the Allen Iversons, the UNC toe box questions. And I'm not asking you if you have any questions. That's the name of the shoe, the question. But these are the Lowe's, very clean summertime shoe as well. Like these, probably, I think I've got a few pair of Reeboks, but yeah, those are staying in the collection. Then I got the LeBron 16s, one of my favorite LeBrons of all time, the bread colorway. Love the way that prime knit has that metallic uh, red in there like that to where when the light hits it, it picks it up. This is a clean shoe, man. This is a clean shoe. So, yeah, the LeBron 16 breads. Going back up to the row I skipped. LeBron 16 Minneapolis Lakers. Another clean shoe to me. I like the simple grayness of it with the white. With that, uh, kind of looks like a, what's that school? It's a Minneapolis Lakers colorway, but it kind of looks like the uh, UCLA. Looks like UCLA colors to me. Got another blazer right here. Clean fall time blazer. Just a dark colorway with that gum bottom. This shoe look great with some jeans in the fall time. 
so this one isn't going anywhere doesn't have much value to it but i mean i like it i think it's gonna look good with some jeans this fall <clears throat> next up we have the yeezy cream clean clean yeezy right here just a cream cream colorway i have worn these i wear these quite a bit actually I wear my Yeezy. I wear a lot. Now that I think about it, I wear my Yeezys a lot. I wear those. The only ones I still got DS are the, uh, right here, are the Earths. The rest of them I've worn. And I've worn quite a bit. They're just so damn comfortable, man. If you ever had a pair of Yeezys, you'd know what I'm talking about. It's not about the height. Not for me, at least. It's about how comfortable they are. They're super comfortable shoes. Period. These are shoes that I would have flipped if Jerry Lorenzo would have stayed with Nike. But now that Jerry Lorenzo is gone and fear of God is transferring over to Adidas, I'm keeping all of my fear of gods, man. Because these things are going to skyrocket in value, just like Kanye's, uh, Kanye's Nikes, the Air Yeezys or whatever, the Red Octobers and all of that. I'm not saying that these will get to that value by no means, okay? But what I am saying is, is that they're going to go up. There's no question about it. As soon as fear of God start dropping for Adidas, these fear of gods for Nike are going to go up. So this is the black colorway, mimicking the Air Raid. Black with that cream colored bottom right there with the eccentric double stack AirPod unit. Cool shoe. Very nice materials on the fear of gods as well. But that is the black colorway and then I also have what they call the white bone colorway. Alright, there's the white bone. Now, the white bones are DS. I have worn the, the, the black ones, but I haven't worn the, the white bones. But yeah, as you can see there, fear of God. Very beautiful shoe. I mean, these things haven't been, I ain't even taken the cardboard out of them. So yeah, these I see these skyrocketing in value, to be honest with you. Out of a lot of them in my collection, I think these may go up to the most. Then you have a shoe that I've worn a ton and absolutely love because I am a fan of this, the show, and that is uh, Stranger Things. This is the Tailwind, upside down Stranger Things. All this uh, right here comes off to reveal denim underneath, so it's a blue jean kind of shoe, or it looks like blue jeans. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I've worn it a lot. Some of it's distressed and coming off, but... Um, most of it's holding up and i'm not going to destroy my shoe just to see the the blue jean stuff i'll let it wear down to how it's supposed to but those are a keep and i tell you what guys i'm tired of bending down we're going to end the video we're at almost 40 minutes i've still got this bottom row over here to get to uh we have a lot of unboxings right here that we need to get to as well and uh we still got all these Jordans over here to go through. So, um, look, if you like the video, uh, give me a like on the and let me know. Again, out of all these shoes that I just went through, tell me which ones you like the most um, down in the comments. But uh, if you've seen any that you like that I said flip on, just remember, if I said flip, go to StockX, go all the way through the purchasing process except actually buying the shoes, don't buy the shoes, but go all the way through and look at that price because that's the price that I'm gonna look at and then I'm gonna knock a little bit, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna slash it huge, right? But I'm gonna make it a little cheaper than what StockX is and you're gonna get it a lot faster too. So anyway, with that being said, if you haven't subbed yet, you're gonna to wanna to sub now. We're at 190, we're 10 people away guys from 200. 10 people away from 200 is a big milestone for me. I put a lot of effort into this channel and for all of y'all that's still following me, I appreciate it um to still sub to the channel i very much enjoy interacting with you guys when i drop videos some of y'all i feel like i've become friends with to be honest with you it's like a little community here so if you enjoyed the video i'm sorry guys that i'm out of breath i've been squatting down for like 15 minutes and i stood up my damn legs feel like jello right now but uh yeah go ahead and subscribe because there's gonna be a part two to this video so with that being said y'all take care have a great day